no, y'all, this is so fucking embarrassing. Go yourself, get in your car, and beat the fucking feet. You're gonna walk out the door. Touch mine out, sir. They pulled him out of the car. They pulled him out of the car and put handcuffs on him. This police officer seems to be persistently harassing this individual, and it remains unclear to everyone why they are targeting him in such a manner. So, with that being said, I'd like you to leave me alone, sir. I have not broken any laws. Well, I'm still doing an investigation because if you're recording me, mind, I'm still recording too, so it's okay. Investigating what, sir? A suspicious person. They, they called in about you. Okay. You have your you have an ID with you? No, I don't. Do you have your name? Can I have your name? No. <laughs> Am I under arrest? No. Okay. So well, I'm investigating. Under arrest, then you what? have no reason to be talking to me, right? I sure I can. Right. Actually, yes. You're a suspicious person. Someone suspicious, called in about suspicious how? What Someone a neighbor a neighbor called called over here, so I don't understand why you're being difficult about this. I'm not being difficult about anything because I haven't done anything out of the way. Okay. So well, with that being said, I'll go about my business. Okay, okay, I'm not done with you yet. You're not free to go. Have I done it? Have I broken any laws? Can you send me one this way, please? He's have I broken any laws, sir? I'm talking to you. I'm not done. I'm just, I'm investigating a suspicious person. You have a nice day, sir. If Stop. Stop now. For what? I can detain you. Stop. For what? Because you're not listening. I'm investigating nope. a suspicious if, person. Stop sir, now. Sir, have I have I broken any laws? Stop. Tell me what laws I've broken. I sir. told you to stop. I don't have to stop. Yes. You know you I will. don't. Either arrest me, tell me what 55. laws I've broken, Can you or step, get away from step me? it up? He's being uncooperative and trying to walk away from me. He won't <laughs> identify himself as a suspicious no, person I, I'm I, investigating. I, I know my life. And with that being said, if I've not broken any laws, you have no reason to detain, detain me. Stop. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. To I'm going to tell you to stop. For what? what because I'm what, talking what, to you what, what and you're not done this wrong. I just told you I'm sir, investigating you're, who you sir, are. You're harassing. Following a particularly heated argument between the two, the officer makes the questionable decision to arrest the person, citing reasons like their failure to comply or their resistance to cooperate. I can actually. Yes, I can. For what? Because you're not listening to my directions. You're not following. Turn around right now. Sir. Turn around. I'm done. So you're gonna arrest me? I'm detaining for, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? Be resistant. For, for what? Because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Do not be resistant towards me. All right. I'm back in my car. <laughs> All right. You you you. I'm it. detained. You have done it. <laughs> yep. You're you're a fool. You are a real fool, sir. Subsequently, another officer steps in to conduct a search highlighting a potential misuse or abuse of power in this situation. I have not broken any laws. Okay, did you stop when he told you to? No, he kept yeah. walking okay, away. then that's interference, so you're under arrest. I'm sitting it's interference for what? Interference, you just disobeyed you were a lawful sit, order. You were sitting right there and I told you to stop four or five times to identify yourself because there was a suspicious Sorry. person car, and I'm investigating that. Investigating what? I have not done anything. Okay. You he, can't just run up on a, on anyone and just say, hey, you're, you look okay, suspicious. Okay. He told you to stop. He didn't. And we had calls this, on this you, like I told you. You're practicing stop and frisk right now. I've not no. no, you're under wrong. arrest. So. Under arrest for what? Under arrest for what? What have I done wrong? You, didn't, you didn't identify yourself. Okay. You didn't stop when we asked you to. Okay. Okay, all right. this is what I'm asking. That's all I'm all asking right. for is your name all and right. date of birth, man. All right, okay. So I can lock someone. Okay. So what's the... What's, What's the issue here, man? There is an issue. Sit I back here. Anything wrong? Sit back here. I have not done a thing. Why wrong. would you not listen to me? Because I have not done anything wrong, sir. Could you let me out of these handcuffs immediately. Sit back here. Okay. This group of police officers unexpectedly stopped these guys' car for alleged speeding, but little did they know how the situation would unfold it turned out to be a remarkable display of legal knowledge and composure by the individuals in the car. You have your fucking gun drawn. Because you're following me, that's why. Is that illegal? Is that illegal? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is, is that unlawful? Am I being detained? For what? What reasonable articulable suspicion? Until I get another unit here. Yeah, you can tell me right now because the second you get another unit here, that's conspiracy. Yeah, okay. yeah. give me your name and ID. Hey, they have their drawn name on and those ID guys. now. You're name live on the now. internet right now, so yeah, be careful what you stream, do. Bro. You're live streaming right now. You have your drawn on us. Yep. All right, buddy. Yep. I'm gonna take your. Hey, direct D. Mirror this. This guy has his drawn on us, bro. So it's okay for you to speed. This guy has his drawn on us, man. And then pull a on me. Yeah. 
I have my hands right here. What reasonable, articulable suspicion do you have? This to is Lee draw County. A gun on me? Lee County, guys. Lee County Sheriff. Where's your supervisor? Is he on his way? This guy thinks he could just speed and not use turn signals and then try to intimidate us by pulling out his gun. Without that gun and that badge, you won't do shit. They effectively educated the officers on their rights and the absence of any wrongdoing on their part. What was your reasonable what was the speed? Why do you guys act above the law? What makes you guys special? Because you wear that clown suit and that badge, it makes you special, it makes you speed and not you're not even you're not even using turning signals. We got everything on camera. So for that reason you wanna go and pull on us, right? That's what you guys do? You guys are a bunch of bullies. You, had it you guys right are a right bunch right of bullies. You guys it caused the car. disconnect. It was pointed towards the vehicle at, at the, the bottom ground. of the vehicle. Really? Because the cameras yeah. aren't going to pick that up? It was pointed at the ground. It never was pointed at you. You know why? Why? Because we got called here by another officer as an officer assistant. For what? And he stopped answering his radio. For what? Yeah, because he was too much to answer a goddamn question. That's why I so scared of a camera. You guys already. I've already got a team of lawyers to sue you guys. And you guys just gave us that much more ammo. I'm trying to figure out what I did. What you did? Did you come here? Are you? Did, did you come here to detain us? I didn't come here to detain you. I came here to park and called you. Called you, which was for a detainment, correct? Which was for him being out with two males and he needed assistance. For what? Because he was out with two males and he needed assistance. Yeah, exactly. He's talking about just picking us all up. Bro, did you guys leave your balls in the academy or something, bro? Why are you guys yeah, so scared of everything, bro? All of you, man. You come and you pull your guys out just because we called you out on, on something that he did. You guys all come with your... Look at this. Look what you guys look like, bro. You bunch of gang members, bro. To your car? Nothing. You drove off because you knew I wasn't going to move. And I didn't move away from your car. And I'm not going to move away from your car. Ever. Why? Because it's not your car. We, the taxpayers, pay that car, not you. Remember that. We good? Yeah, we good. Just remember, bro. Don't be scared. To the astonishment of onlookers, the officers found themselves in an awkward position, as they had unjustifiably brandished their weapons at the group without cause. In the heart of Iowa, an auditor found himself inside the Buchanan County Courthouse, seeking information about obtaining a passport. Armed with a camera, he documented his visit. Suddenly, like a storm on the horizon, Sergeant Chris Chesmore approached, demanding the auditor's ID without any apparent cause. <laughs> Huh? Uh, no, I think I came from downstairs. Do you have an ID in here, sir? Uh, yeah, I do. Can I see that, please? Oh, sh certainly. Actually, if I can freaking find it, maybe. Where are you from? No, I was thinking about moving here. Oh, yeah. No, your, your real ID. Yeah, this is. No. I'm Billy Buttcrack. Your real ID. Oh, you need the real one? Yep. Ah, son of a Here you go. I got some ID right here. The D. Hey, why don't you have 10 tooth from over here? What's that? I got the ID. Here you go. Driver's license. Oh. Here you go. I'm gonna need to see your ID, sir. Sir? Time to go. Let's go. You need to leave. Excuse me? Don't touch me. Don't touch you? you need yeah, to you just did. You just bumped me. Why? For what? What did I do wrong? You were told to leave by me. For what? What crime? Let's go. What crime did I do? I'm here to get papers. Let me see it. Oh, I know. You could Didn't look you right here. Excuse me? Didn't you already get your papers? I think you need to slow your roll right now. Slow my roll? Yeah. You know you work for Come me? On down here. Come on down here. For what? Come on. I committed no crime. With a spine of steel, the auditor refused to yield, firmly aware of his rights. Tension hung heavy in the air as the two locked eyes in a courthouse showdown. Why are you, tyrant? What's so funny, little boy? I don't know. Why can't you just respect our rights? What's the First Amendment? Do you know? Didn't think so. It's a shame that you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, yet you don't even know the First Amendment. You like the Broncos? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I like freedom is what I like. 
Apparently you guys don't. You're still free, aren't you? Uh, not by you. You want to be a little tyrant. Hey, get out Get out of the public building. I haven't. Hey, hey he went up. Yeah, because you're not going to. And if you do, guess what? We'll have fun in court. I like your camera. We'll have fun in court. Guess what? Have you violated someone's rights? Of course you have. But guess what? You ain't going to violate mine without repercussions. I like your camera. Brand I like your facial hair. Thanks. It looks actually kind of good. Kind of good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. You should probably grow some too. Mm. Not enough testosterone. Too much. Oh. When you want to try violating someone's rights, you might want to read the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. You keep talking about these amendments, but you haven't told. You're not educating. Yeah. Are you really that clueless that I have to do your job for you? It became a battle of principles where the auditor squared off against an officer who had underestimated his knowledge of the law. Yeah, I mean, what he's doing the wrong thing. He needs educated. This is disgusting what he's doing. Okay. Oh, do you want to you want to know what happened when I came in here? Guess what? I'm being so polite to everybody. I go in here, go in the clerks, I ask him, "Hey, what what services do you guys provide here?" And you know what? I got, I got a passport information right here because this is what I'm looking for. I'm here to go in all these offices. And this guy right here, he should not have stripes for one. That's disgusting how you treat the public. Oh, two, he's really yelling at me. Really hold on, hold on, little man. Number two, I'm in here to check out the public building. Public. Don't forget, Captain, is this what you, do you accept this behavior? What do you need? Well, I'm going to go, I'm, I just got here. I'm going to each one of these buildings, asking what services they provide. I'm getting certain things, like I just got a passport info, because I'm going to fill it out and get a passport. And I'm here checking out the building. Then I get harassed by this deputy. It's disgusting, his behavior. Well, check out the building. Exactly. Why couldn't we do that in the first oh, place? Yeah. So you have no problem. No. Exactly. Do you have a problem now? The captain says it's fine. It, it, yeah, and building. he says it's fine because maybe, you know, he appreciates the Constitution. He at least, if, at minimum, he understands Just it. Just don't interrupt or go back into any place that you're not involved. Exactly, and I don't. Exactly, and okay. I don't. That's all I ask. Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. You know, certain parts of the building are not limited. Yeah. Thing. Either way. Okay. okay. Just go in and... Well, there we go. There, at least the captain knows, Sergeant. Okay. You might have to take some lessons up. Go home, maybe just check out the Bill of Rights, because you don't thank, know it. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problem. And thank me for my okay. service, too, because your service is not good. Okay, well, just Bad boy. understand there's certain areas you can go. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm well aware. You can, you can certainly go into whatever the public is, as long as you're not disrupting. Yeah, exactly. The people that, and I don't. The people that aren't coming in and out need to do business here. Yeah, okay? yep. No worries. There you go. Thanks, Captain. Hey, Sergeant, maybe you'll learn one day. Thank you. This story underscores the importance of knowing one's rights in every situation. The incident unfolded when a group of not-so-vigilant police officers pulled over a woman in her car, seemingly convinced that she was someone else entirely. They proceeded to request her identification, which raised immediate concerns. Hey, man. Hey. Yo, bro, get in your car and beat the f out of here. Shut the f up, get in your s and beat the f out of here. Do what I said now. Nobody's on your little probation. Beat the f feet now. I know you're gonna move. You're gonna, I'll talk to you any f way I want. And if you don't like it, you can join Ebbing and get a lawsuit against you, baby. Come on with it. Oh, well, come on with it then. Go f yourself. Get in your car and beat the f***ing feet. I just did, public servant. Get the f*** in your car and leave. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to move it out of my wife's way. Bye. You chose the wrong one today, baby. Beat the feet. Everybody here knows their civil rights. Kick rocks. You can leave. Are they being detained? Are they being detained? Okay, I'll ask them. Michelle, stick your head out and ask this bald-headed prick if you're being detained. Okay, you can leave. You're not being detained. Leave. As this situation escalated, the woman's husband took swift action by initiating a live broadcast on social media, bravely standing up for their rights. Who the f*** do you think you are to roll up on someone and ask them who they are? 
Who do you think you are, though? Doing my job. No, your job is. Wait a minute. Do you know who who is? I thought she was somebody else mm. we were looking for. Okay, well, you were wrong. Very wrong. You don't just roll up on people and can ask them their name, dude. That's not. That's a Fourth Amendment violation, dude. All right. It absolutely is, unless you have a crime. I got a college degree in criminal justice. Okay, well then you should know. Oh, it is. You can ask anybody you want, but you can't force them to ID. Did I force her ID? Okay, good. Can I detain her? Babe, you're ready to go. Go do what you got to do. Yeah. These motherfuckers rode up on my wife, y'all. Rode up on me. Hey, hey, say hi to. 480 people. Say hi. You're live on the internet, by the way. Say hi. You got 481 people watching. And they'll see that I'm being a complete professional. No, you're not. You don't roll up on people like that for no reason. Unless you're 100% sure of what you're doing. And you're not, obviously. And you're training this guy, dude. That's pathetic. Dude, don't listen to nothing this dude says. Because he don't know shit. Kind of roll up on someone, block them in with, and that you know that's a detainment in itself. No, it oh, the it it ain't. When you yeah. stop, well, you weren't out of the lane. Half your car was blocking the road. You, but when you block them in like that, that's a detainment, dude. When you stop someone, you Mr. Criminal Degree, you should know that when you stop someone's forward progression, that is a fucking detainment. And then when they're in a car and you stop them, that's a de facto arrest. He's saying that no one was detained when he had his car literally parked right here, y'all, blocking half the road and half my, and blocking my wife in. He vehemently asserted that they had committed no wrongdoing and that the police were misusing their authority in this encounter. Three people were in their small store one evening. Suddenly, a police officer came in and surprised them. They felt confused and worried because they hadn't done anything wrong. The officer started asking them questions and seemed to doubt them. He said it wasn't normal to have a store open at that time. Hey guys. You guys, I've never seen you open this late. Yeah. Are you just restocking? No, I'm just doing our thing. Just doing your thing? What's yeah. your thing? What's up? Well, I just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. Is that late. a problem? Don't you me? No, 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 just chill, just chill. Oh, Is that a problem? No, sir, there's no problem. I'm just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. I wanted to come check in, make sure there's everything's no okay. Problem. Are you guys restocking the store? There's, or? there's no problem going on. Why are you here so late? It does not matter. It does matter. To who? To me. Why? Because the store's never open this is, late. Is it your store? No. And then what? If it's not your store, what's the problem? I'm making sure that everyone is okay there's down no here. There's no problem going on. So if you have a problem, you let me know right now if there's a problem. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. It does matter to me. It does not matter to me. It so does. if you have a problem, you tell me right now if you have a problem. I don't have a problem, sir. Do one of you two own the store? No, or have I, any reason do to not talk to anybody else. Talk to me. You're talking to me right now. No, I'm talking to all three you're of you. Not, all you're three talking you to me, store. sir. Okay? You're talking to me. Call your supervisor and let him come here. He's already on his way. Okay, so when he's here, let you let me know. No, why don't you come out here for me? The three people got upset and told the officer they thought he was treating them unfairly because of their skin color. They felt really anxious and angry. Is this your store? He, well, so what's the problem with having three people in the store? It, you keep emphasizing people, that's not Yes, you, see, yeah, you cannot tell me you don't see that. You see that three people in the store. What's the problem with that? I see three people in the I store. I see people One in the store. One o'clock in the morning. I see One o'clock in the morning. This okay. street's closed up at nine o'clock at night. There's okay. nobody here. Okay, so what's the problem? That's the problem. Okay. This street closes at nine o'clock at night and okay. there's never anybody in here. Okay. This isn't regular business hours. There's okay. no customers in there. Okay. Is it your store? That's all we want to know. Who, who, like, do you want to know why? I want to know what you're doing in the store at one o'clock in the morning. Okay. If I tell you it's my store, then what? Then show me that it's your store. I do not have to show you nothing. If I tell you it's my store, then what? I do not have to prove anything to you. Is this if your I store? tell you if it's my store, then what? Aren't you glad we're looking out for your store? I am glad you're looking out for my store. But okay. if I tell you it's my store, then what? Then you should be grateful that we're being as, as diligent as we are to look out for the street. That's all we do. Okay, it's my store. Okay. The officer didn't seem to care and insisted he was only concerned about the store's late hours. This made the three people even more sure that he was acting unfairly because of their race. Can you prove that it's your I story? do not have to prove anything to Actually, you. Actually, you do. Sir. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. To who and to why? Oh my God. I do not yes, have to prove my existence to, to you. Who you are. 
I do not have to prove my existence. You are in a store you. after yes. hours when yes. the stores are closed okay. on this street all night. Okay. This last store that closes is Sam's Anchor Cafe right over there, okay. and it closes at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. There's three people in the store in the middle of the night. We okay. are doing what we're supposed to do. We're looking out for our community. Okay. That's all we're doing. Okay. That's it. You're looking out for my community. That's yes. what you need to say. If you're if this is your store, you're part no, of not my even if this is my store. I've already told you it's my store. Don't use the word if. Okay. I've told you it's my store. Okay. I do not have to prove my existence to you. I do not it's have not to your existence. You're you in a your location piece. that we have never you seen said you your before. Piece. You said your piece. It does not matter where I'm at before. I do not have to prove to you that where I go, that I'm right here. Where I have are you to getting this information that you don't have to prove that you Listen, are? Listen, you're not listening to me. Because you're not Be making sense. Just because I am making sense. No, you're not making sense. Because you have not never seen me here before, I do not have to prove to you that I have to be here. That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you a question. Yes, I see. This is your store. Yes. So the next time yes. I come here and there's yes. three totally different people here. Yes. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Three people in your store at two o'clock in the morning. You want us to walk by and not do anything? Because we you, can. You've seen me. We can do that. You've seen me. All right. So I, I want to wrap up this conversation. We're wasting time. So what's going on? What, what's up? What's the next step? Prove to us that you have keys. Okay, okay, wait, See, wait. No, that's a perfect okay. thing. I just asked for that. Okay, okay. You know what? Put wait. the key in the door and we're out of here. Put the key in the door? Put the key in the door. I if asked you, if this is your store, you have the key. That is, I'm telling you. There you go. Stand back, please. There you Do go. not raise your voice at me. Okay? Put the key in the door. Don't we're raise out your here. voice at me. Just chill. That's I'm going to put my key in the door. That's his store. What's that? That's his store. Thank you, sir. That's all I need to know. Thank you. See ya. Thank you for your time. Can you put the key in the door, key in the door first? Huh? Can you put the key in the door, please? I'm not going to put the key in the door. He already told you. The chief of police is walking that's away. Done. That's your supervisor. Okay, we're good. We're he good. said you walk, walk away. away. Walk we're good. away. The situation got very tense, highlighting a serious problem of racial bias that deeply troubled them. Mr. Brewer is in his car with his wife, driving home. Suddenly, a Haynesville Police Department officer pulls them over. The officer stopped them because Mr. Brewer forgot to turn on his car's headlights, which is against Alabama's traffic laws. Now, let's find out what unfolds next. Here's your driver's license and insurance card back, okay? Uh, what is a good phone number for you? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna give you that, man. You're not gonna give me your phone number? I'm not legally required to give you my phone number. I've given you everything I'm legally required to give you. What about your social security number? Don't I'm not legally required to give you that. You can't ask that of me. I've, I've given you everything I'm legally required to give you, and I'm not going to answer any more questions. Well, are you going to sign the ticket? Uh, well, yeah, I have to sign the ticket, but I don't have to give you my social or my phone number, man. I'm not required to give you that. Okay, well. But you can take me to jail if I don't sign the ticket, so I have to sign the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. So you obviously know that, right? Yes, I know that. I have to sign the ticket, okay, but I'm well, not giving you any other information other than what I've given you. You're not going to give me a phone number? I'm not legally required to give you one, man. I'm not going to give you anything I'm not legally required to give you. I've given you everything I've legally required to give you. I've done everything I'm legally required to do. I'd like to be on my way. Is that okay? All right, well, I need you to sign this. That's okay. I will sign. What's up? What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. Just trying to figure out what's going on with this. I'd like to get my ticket and be on the way. He said he was writing me a time. I mean, he was literally handing me the ticket, and he went back and got in his car. I don't know what the holdup is, man. Let's, I don't know. I've been here for 20 minutes. I done signed the ticket. I gave him everything I'm legally required. Yeah. I've given him everything he needs, man. I just want to be on my way. I don't know. What's the issue? When I got up to the car, I he asked for my wife's ID and I told him she's not legally required to ID, okay. which she's not. Right. Then he asked me for my social. That's a that's federal law. He he can't demand my social from me. That's a violation okay. of federal well, law. In the state of Alabama, it's a stop and identify state, so technically he can ask for her ID as well. No, that's that the, the scope of his authority stops at me. I'm the driver. It doesn't matter what the state is and what the ID law is. She has to commit a crime, or you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime in order to get her ID. She's a passenger in the vehicle. He pulled me over for, for, a, trip, for a headlight violation. He's written me my ticket. I'd like to be on my way. He's ran my information. I'm assuming I came back clean, did I not? So what's the hold up? I'd like to be on my way. There's no hold up. Can, you sign the ticket. I mean, I'm good. good. Then we're good, right? I'd like to be on my way. You're good. Coke, so I'm free to go? Yes, Thank you. Y'all yes. have a good evening. Right. In a peaceful town, a man went about his business casually strolling through a local store. Out of nowhere, 
the store owner summoned the police, accusing him of a past escape from the store, an incident dating back a year. The officer, with no apparent explanation, demanded to see his ID. Bewildered, the man's protest fell on deaf ears. She said she's talking to you. Listen to her. So they have a right to some private information to request that you don't return. They don't want to call the trespass, which means it'll be documented and they're going to simply say I'm in contact with you. The manager requests to have you Or a trespass, you have to ask me to leave first. Nobody has asked. No, I have to give you a warning and then say The owner has to ask, but I haven't done anything. There was a police report and the guy who said me. And there was a police report about it. According to him, something was taken. Yes. In the past. Not about me, though. Yeah. 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 that wasn't me. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 A lady officer displayed an authoritarian demeanor, ignoring his perspective entirely. Passing out yes. No, that's exactly. trespassing. Right. Exactly. I'm issuing a trespass. I know. You have Listen to, to me. I am issuing a trespass, which means I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Let me see. Let me finish. And I will get I will get my supervisor. I'm gonna explain to you how a trespass warning has to be. You're not going until you give me your ID. I'm trying to walk out. I said, wait outside. So you give me your but you're not even listening to her. I asked for your supervisor. Okay, well, he's going to tell you the same thing. I'll wait for you. You're not, you're not going in. You're not going in. You, you need to provide your ID. You're committing a crime right now. You're disobeying a lawful command. You're committing a crime right now, and I'm being as patient as possible. Normally, I don't give everybody a warning this morning. Your ID. Your ID. Can I please walk out? Your ID. I'm asking. We're going to walk out together, and you're going to go in handcuffs. I'm not being rude. I'm, I'm you are. You are. You are. And now, now I'm going to be placing you under arrest. Why? Because you're not obeying my command. I'm telling you. I explained to you. Yep. Yep. As soon as you get here, I'm going to proceed with my decision. Because you're being uncooperative. It's a simple document of, I made contact with Mr. Such and Such. She asked for him to no longer return to the store. And he was issued a form of trespass warning. Warning. He was educated that if he comes back, he will be put, he will be trespassing after warning. Which is what I'm trying to do, right? I'm totally okay with that. He's not cooperating. Then, a supervisor arrived injecting reason into the situation. Things that they're talking about, I have no right, I have no clue. Okay. I was never charged with anything. There's no incident. Do you number. frequent the store? Huh? Do you frequent the store a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't know what incident they're talking about. I've been here numerous times. I never even asked to leave today. I was saying. You don't want him here anymore? No. Okay, is there a reason why? A year ago, he was having some issue with him, and he ran from our store. We call the police because we want to make a police report, you know, for him not to come back. No but because he run, we don't have any... any no. You were saying yes or they're saying yes? Because you're the acting supervisor. Correct. So you're detaining Correct. me? They're saying, they're saying that yes. Okay. Yes. No, you're okay. detaining me. I'm not... First of all, Andrew. Yes, sir. Let's not get into a philosophical... Uh, but, the, but the thing is, you have to abide by the law, not by hearsay. Correct. So by the okay. law... Let me ask you a question. Do you just want him gone Hang on. from the store? To walk out. Okay. Trespassing also. Yeah. Give me the trespassing so he cannot come back. He's okay. going to tell you that it doesn't work that way. Okay. Have to come back. No, we can't. No, we can't issue you a trespass warning. I don't have to. Do, okay. I don't have to provide the ID. No. For that. You're absolutely right. Thank you, sir. You're absolutely right. Thank However, you. I know that. if they are asking you not to come back in I our presence, we need to document that. I will not come back. Okay, but we need your name you for that. My first name is Andrew. Okay, just tell them you don't want them to come back. I will not come back. I don't want you back here. Anymore. Okay. You. Thank you, sir. I appreciate All right. it. Am I, am I Feel free to go. Thank you, miss. And okay. hopefully we learn something today because okay. All right. your officer Bye. said that it was right. wrong. Okay. Uh, I was wrong. All right. All right. No, so that's... Go ahead. No, to document it, you do need ID. Have a good day. Wow. This is the disconnect with the community. He assertively reined in the assertive lady officer, putting an end to the matter that had the whole town buzzing. There's this man, and he keeps saying he didn't do anything wrong. The cops won't listen, though. They put him in the car because they think he looks like the person they're searching for. Back Hello? Put your hands behind your back I'm gonna explain to you in a minute. Where's your ID? Right there. You're gonna take all your stuff. We can't take this. Go to this. I'm gonna reach you your rights real quick. All right. I'm telling you guys that oh, I can confirm where I was, and I can even confirm my activities. 
I just recently logged off of the VPN at my job. Okay. At what time? Roughly before I came over here, before I called you guys. Okay. But I'm telling you, you guys got the wrong guy. Okay. The description of the car, of the guy that took off from your car is just like yours. But that's half of Miami. Bald headed with a beard. Uh, even if he had dreads, it dreads with a beard. Okay. But then that's it's not fair. I mean, like like I said, my kids. I called because my car got. He's explaining over and over that he's innocent, but they won't listen. What time was your car stolen? I told you, probably around about five. I didn't pay attention to the time. I really just jumped out of the car to go see. That's it. If you want, like I said, we can go. Like, I had my kids and stuff like that, dropped them off, came over to, to say hi, and I went, I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't. I mean, like I said, I know the people that stay across there, over here, all over the place. I don't know what happened. My car just somebody jumped in, drove off. And I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't do it. I mean, literally, I, I mean, why would I call the police? <laughs> I mean, I called because my car is stolen. I mean, I, how me and my kids are gonna get home? My pillow, my, my work ID, my work stuff, all of that stuff is in there. Why would I? That's why I'm like, what, what's? Why am I in handcuffs? If I'm calling them and, and, and I'm. Uh, just give me a second. You've never been arrested before? No. You sure about that? Yeah. It's really heartbreaking. A reporter diligently carried out his duties. He had every reason to be present, but an unfortunate incident unfolded. The police officers handled him with unnecessary force, causing great distress. I am allowed to be here. Did you not, did you not see that man put his hands on You were told to shut it down and continued on. No. Go. Now. Go. Now. Or you can go to jail. Sir, you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you understand? You know how quickly our lawyers will get me out. I don't, we don't care. care. Sir, can we I don't talk? care. Just talk outside. Just talk outside. Just talk outside. Go. Talk outside. Out, the out the door. Out the door. Out the door. By other media right I don't care. Here. I'm going to listen. I don't care. You're going to walk out the door. I'm going to listen. You're going to walk out the door. Do not touch mine out, sir. You're going to walk out the door. Or you're going to jail. Do not touch me. Sir, can we talk outside, please? I am trying to talk listen. Outside, please. And he escalated with me. I am doing my job. I'm this covered by the First Amendment. Excuse me, sir. I'm the building supervisor here. Please leave. There you have it. No, you're you're no, going to stand no, outside. You are. No, or you're going to jail. Lay flat. Lay flat. Please. You guys, he's a national correspondent. You cannot do this. I'm a reporter with News Nation. It's all being recorded right now. I hope it is. Excessive horrible. Because you can't talk to people about doing their jobs. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. This is horrible. This is what it's like to be a black Evan, reporter. In Evan, I'm so sorry. Evan, I'm sorry. Thank you, Sia. We love her, sir. And that one is a little tight, so we are. Oh my God. Thank you very much. This is horrible. Fortunately, the officers responsible for this unjust treatment were later dismissed by the Ohio Police Department. This distressing event occurred solely because of the color of his skin. It's a deeply sorrowful and unjust occurrence, highlighting the need for change and fairness in society. There's a police officer, and he stopped a passenger. He wanted to do something wrong to the passenger, but it looks like the passenger knows the law really well. This passenger might even know more about the law than the lawyers out there. Let's see what's gonna happen next in this interesting story. What's your name, your badge number? Uh, Keenan, Keenan, nice to meet you. Do you uh, have a driver's uh, ID? Why do I have to give it to you? Do you have an ID on you, yes or no? No, I don't. Okay. You might have to step out. Of You're not allowed to open this door either. Yeah. You're not allowed to reach into this car. Don't. That's really sick. I'm not with you, and there's no reason for you to curse at me. Listen, I asked for your ID. Do you and have I said, ID? I don't have ID, and I'm not giving you any, even if I did. Huh? I said, I'm not giving it to you, even if I did. You have no reason to stop me. I'm a passenger in a car. You don't have your seat, though. I don't have my seatbelt on because I took it off. No, you pulled so why are you going to tell me? Look, there's no tent in this car. I can there's see. There's no tent. I mean, I can't do this. I have okay. to go out. You're pulling this over. I wonder why. We in here talking about Jesus. And okay. So you're making things around. extremely difficult. I'm not making things extremely difficult. I'm making things extremely do you have constitutional. Yes or no? That's what I'm making. What are you talking about constitutional? I'm making a constitution. You're in a vehicle that was I'm legally in a vehicle stopped. That was legally okay. stopped. Are so, you trying to say you didn't see me with a seatbelt on? Right off the bat, that's enough to get your ID. No, that's not enough to get me because I'm not driving the car. It is. It is. No, it is so, not. So, do you have Go ID get, Give me a supervisor, your... please. Give me a supervisor, please. Uh, no, we're not getting you a supervisor. Yes, you want to f*** me about it? That's fine. I don't want to go to jail tonight. I don't feel like going to no precinct. But you're not going to sit up here and just start chastising me or sit up there and try to f*** 
fucking accost me for sitting down and minding my business with a phone in my hand. You're not going to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, and I said, no, I'm not going to provide you with any identification whatsoever. I, there's no reason. What reasonable, articulate uh, suspicion do you have that I have committed a crime? I have a question. How far did you go? Did you no, 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 no. That's all I'm asking. You what reasonable, articulable suspicion you do you have of me kind of, committing a crime? You have any kind of hearing, I'm not answering no question. Hearing questions. impairments or anything what, like that? What, do, do you have one? Mental I asked you a question. You have I asked you a question. Health, uh, now, are you going to get me a supervisor or what? I need a supervisor. Next, we follow the tale of a Red Oak County officer who was caught telling lies to a YouTuber known as Red Oak Video Vigilante. A fire raged near their cattle, stirring commotion. What are y'all doing? Move out of the way. Move your vehicles out of the road. You're going to have to feel the complaint. I just got into a screaming match with Chris over there. Good. The following day, the two individuals in the video conversed with a state trooper from the same county. Decides he's going to block the road because he needs to move cows. And I said, well, okay, well, how's the emergency vehicle going to get through to put out the fire that's just going to get bigger because he decides you want to block the road for cows. Mm -hmm. He's got, his, he's got his, his vehicle in the middle of the road with his red and green flashing, there's traffic backed up. State officers affirmed their innocence, claiming the officer lacked common sense and harbored resentment. You're not allowed to block an entire roadway, okay? I don't know if you know that. But you're not allowed to stop, stand, park in the middle of the roadway. It's against the transportation code, okay? To move cows from one pasture to another pasture. To block the roadway. That's right. That's right. To bring so you my cows. I'm not, I'm not having an argument with you. I'll take it up with you. Okay, dude. call Chief. You've That's fine. I'm done arguing with you. All right, and where in the transportation code does it say you can do that? What? Where in the transportation code does it say you can do that? You know what's being. Well. He jumped out of the truck with the feet. Everybody, everybody around saw it. Okay. And I'm not going to sit here and referee an argument, so if you want to file a complaint. Surprisingly, no punishment was meted out. A police officer started asking questions of an auditor. The auditor was simply taking pictures of the police facility. But, with courage, the auditor defended his actions. You're good. Going all right. How about yourself? Good, good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Can I, uh, can I help you? No, thank you. You're good. All right. Can I ask you why you're taking pictures of the facility? Excuse me? Can I ask you why you're taking pictures of our facility? I'm not saying you can. I'm just asking if you... Yeah, I, I know. I just don't feel like answering any questions. Okay. All right. All right, sir. Is this pro public or private? I can't even hear you guys. We're, we're screaming. Is this public property or private? It's private, It's private? Yes, sir. Who's it owned by? It's okay. Grab the sidewalk, but now you're in our property. But who's it owned by? The county. The county, which the county. is owned by the people. Leave, Excuse me? I'm serious. You're not to leave. Call your, call your supervisor right. out here, please. Stop right there. For Stop what? Stop right there. Stop right there, sir. For what? Look, listen. The stuff may work on the inmates, but it isn't going to work on me. This right. isn't my first time here. All right, What's sir. your name and badge Stop. number? We're going we're gonna to trespass you. You're on, you're on private property. I'm on private property, and the Clark County owns it. The Clark County owns it, right? What's your name and badge number? Later on, the auditor decided to go and film the front door of the building, which had a sign saying it was a public place. Many officers rushed out. An officer Butler, in particular, blocked the camera and got quite upset, saying the auditor was trespassing. In the end, Officer Butler arrested the auditor and turned off his camera. How you doing? Hey. 
You need to leave our property, you're trespassing. What's that? You need to leave our property, you're trespassing. You're trespassing? Yeah. Can you get your hand up? No, I up cannot get my hand up. How about right. this? We'll call a field officer out here. Okay. And when they get here, I can talk to them. Last time I'm going to tell you, Look, you need to leave the you property, you're trespassing. Off my stuff. You need to leave the property, you're trespassing. You know what? Then formally trespass me. I'll take a formal trespass. Okay. All right. Let's walk you, you, you off the property. I, am, I don't care who you are. Okay. Well, yeah, that's you fine. can't be I mean, here. I've been involved with a couple of federal lawsuits. That's absolutely wonderful. Has that ever worked out for you? Get your hand off of my camera. Okay. I'm telling you to leave our property. This isn't your property. This is you the need to leave property. our property. Get your hand off. You need to leave our property. Get your hand off. You need to leave our property. Call, not, call the police out here now. Well, you call need to Metro. go. Because you're a CO. You need to go. You're a CO. You need Get to your go. hands off my camera, sir. All right. Do we already call? Yeah. Already call patrol. Call them. Okay. Call them. Turn around. Put your okay. hands on your back. I'm not doing anything. Turn around. Put your hands on your back. Thankfully, Captain Forbes soon arrived and ordered them to release the auditor. Captain Forbes understood that the auditor had done nothing wrong, so he allowed him to continue taking videos and photos. You're a field officer, I assume, right? I am. There you go. Thank you, Butler. Yep. Thank you. And so now, now you're you're aware of public photography, correct, sir? Do I, I don't even get an apology because if, if we can just settle this right now, I won't even go file a complaint. It, but a, an apology. I'll be a man and put this behind me and go on about my business. Terribly sorry, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I accept your apology. Appreciate that. Fair enough. All right, guys. Uh, well, thank you. Um, yeah. Forbes. Yep. Yeah, I'm Captain Forbes, 5372. Thank you. That's my P number. Yep. Thank you. And you, Absolutely. field officer? Sergeant LeBaron, P number 9249. Sergeant Wall, was 4847. Thank you. And yours? Thank you. Thank you, fellas. I know I'll stay away from, yeah, from the safety issue. We'll have to approach you again if you go yeah. over toward that area here. But if you're, you know, if you're around this area here, taking well, photos and stuff, you're fine. Right. Public, publicly accessible areas. I don't feel like going down that ramp anyways. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I wanted to get a picture of the sunset with the flag. Yeah, no I wanted to just get those you're things. So, all right. All right. So uh, I need to ask you, do you still want to file a complaint or anything like that? I can take a complaint if you want to file a complaint. You know what? I would rather him get the education this way. Um, so if, okay. if anything, if I do file a complaint, I'll just go online okay. and I'll file gotcha. a complaint. But right. right now the adrenaline's still going, my mind's Understood. all over the place. So I, I, I don't a, even know. I wanted to offer that to you and then we'll, we'll have a discussion about the training and all that stuff and make sure that's addressed. Okay. okay. All, all right. right. Hey, well, thank okay. you. Thank right, you. Sir. Have a good day. Captain Forbes handled the situation well and even offered the auditor a chance to file a complaint. But the auditor, being kind, settled for just an apology. Yet, a complaint might still have been filed. In this particular scenario, a law enforcement officer stopped an individual and initiated an interrogation due to their activity of taking photographs in the state of Florida. The officers asserted that the individual required a specific permit to engage in such photography, prompting the person to inquire about the nature and specifics of this permit requirement. Got, got some kind of documentation saying you can film up here, sir. What kind of documentation do I need? You're filming state of Florida property. You need to have documentation saying that you can film here. Have you got an ID so I can check your ID? Who are you? I'm Inspector Snow with the Office of the Inspector General. Okay. So have you got some type of ID? If not, you need to put the camera away, get in your vehicle, and exit the state of Florida property. You get yourself on with the Dallas Sheriff's Office. You can't film on prison property. You are on prison property. This is? Yep. Right here? Everything out the here. Next Everything to the road? Across. Yep. So you guys put in this telephone pole? You guys put in that light pole? It's right away. It's still prison property. Yeah. You can't be filming up here. You're filming staff members as they're coming in and out. You filmed me as I came out. Oh, I did? Yes. I know. I'm not denying it. Okay. Well, have you got some type of ID? I don't need ID. Um, actually, you do. For what? On state of Florida property. You are trespassing if you need to exit the area. Yeah, it's called the uh, the right of public use. Okay, and fifteen not a feet. Parking area. There's no parking place there. Well, my car was overheated, so I oh, okay. decided to, to pull over. Okay. So you're you're standing here filming for no reason. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Oh, okay. And you're filming staff members coming in and out. Anybody in public, I'm filming absolutely. Okay. And like I said, do you have some type of permit to film on the state of Florida property? I do. Okay. Can I see your permit? It's uh, Amendment 1 of the United States Constitution, the right no, to free you press. On, you are actually on private property. It's state of Florida property. This is not 
some place where you can just walk up and film. You can't walk up onto a prison property and film. You have to have approval from the warden. You have to have approval from higher up. The state of Florida is private property? Yes. Are they exempt from being filmed? Yes, they're exempt from being filmed by the public, yes. If you're filming on a place where you're not supposed to be, yes. Okay. I'm cool with that. Just like their driver's licenses are exempt. Any law enforcement officers, their driver's licenses are exempt. Same thing with correctional officers. So public servants are exempt from, from the watchful eye of the citizens? No, that's not what I'm saying. You're not listening to me. I'm saying that there, you cannot request information off their driver's license. I wasn't asking for any information off you're the driver's license. You're filming people in a place where you're not authorized to film. If you want to stand in the middle of that road and film, you can. You cannot film from here. You are on state of Florida property, sir. Okay. You need to shut the camera off, get in your vehicle, and exit. The sheriff's If not, the sheriff's office is on the way up here, and we'll let them handle it. Okay. I'll let them handle it. Okay. We'll give you a trespass. Okay. This incident raises concerns of potential misconduct and harassment on the part of the officers, as the individual perceives it as a form of bullying. We have an officer hailing from Harford County, and his primary aim appears to be the education of the young men who cross his path, enlightening them about the potential legal transgressions they might unwittingly commit. But it turns out that the officer was himself wrong, not the young men. On this particular occasion, the officers in question intercepted the men's vehicle, suspecting them of violating the rules. I mean, uh, you rode next to me for a while there. You were right next to me at the traffic light. We made a left-hand turn. Okay. And then you were following the speed limit. That was fine. But once you got to here, man, you were doing 70 and a 55. Like, I felt the issue. I wasn't trying. Like, I kept easing off the gas pedal. You're probably better off slowing down and speeding up, you know what I mean? Like, especially if it's a suspension. You don't want to go faster. That's just going to cause a big problem. Well, I'll look at your record. Uh, you got any points on your license right now? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I can look it up, but I also smell the weed. Yeah, um, not that weed. Okay, just leave, you can just leave it there, man. It's not the biggest thing, man. Um, the way marijuana laws are going and everything like that, it's been decriminalized, anything under 10 grams. It's just a civil citation, if that. Man, I, again, I'm not going to be petty about nothing. You're being decent. You mind stepping out, though? Okay, just don't reach in your pockets or anything. Can I help you? You can back up, please. This is a this is a traffic stop. You need to back up. You can't walk up behind us. Hey, listen. Back up. Millions of people watching. Back up. Back up. Tase me? Yes. Back up. I'm on a public sidewalk. Back up. On a public sidewalk. This is a traffic stop. You do not belong here. I'm far away. You're under arrest for hindering. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Sir. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm telling you right now, bud. Put your hands behind your back. I'm a constitutional activist. Okay. What I do is I film the police. Okay. From publicly accessible areas. You can stand over there and film us from the front. You cannot walk up. Listen to me. I was walking Listen to me. Just, I, was going, I was going that way. You didn't no, no, no. Walk you walked up behind us, and when I told you to back up, you're telling me this is a sidewalk. No, you can't get this I'm close. I'm walking down that way. When the, when the police are conducting an investigation. This, no, no, no. You don't so understand. Do I'm explaining it to you. Maryland and the Harford County Sheriff's Office, which I am, a Harford County Sheriff's Office deputy, okay? We will allow you to video. I don't care if you're standing over in the parking lot where I can see you, away from the traffic stop. But as soon as we do a traffic stop or any other type of investigation, we drop a bubble on the area that we're in. You're not walking up behind me. No, I wasn't. Sure. I said I back up. I wasn't, I wasn't. Okay, you don't want to listen. We'll go ahead and charge, okay? And then you Come can. On, sir, you can listen, I, you're under arrest. How about? How about? You let me go on my way. No. And we're not going. Nope. And we're not going. You're going to jail. I got sergeants, lieutenants who have my back. I got county officials in my. I don't. I don't state. care. And sir, you're I'm not going to walk up behind me like. However, the men vehemently asserted their innocence, standing firm and resolute in defending their rights. There were police officers on duty. They had arrested a man who was out shopping with his wife. The reason? They thought he resembled a criminal suspect they were searching for. But his wife, quick to act, began recording the incident. She insisted her husband didn't match the suspect's photo. Out of the car, they pulled him snapping handcuffs onto his wrists, believing he fit the suspect's description. They pulled him out of the car. They pulled him out of the car and put handcuffs on him because they said he fits the description of a suspect. This one showed me the, the picture, which looks nothing like him. And when I asked to take a picture of the picture that he showed, he won't show me. The picture looks nothing like him. 
Yeah, I want. I want. I want to take a, a picture You're of the not picture. Not taking a picture of yeah. my screen. Yeah. Why I'm not? I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. yeah. He won't yeah. let me take a picture of his screen, listen, listen. which is supposed to fit the why? description. Come yes, on, please I tell me no. why. Where, where everything is legal. We have insurance on the car. Okay. The gun is registered to him. Well, this will be really quick and easy. Good. That is. It, it is a big of a deal because if you were sitting yeah, in your car minding your own business deal. and cops just came and dragged you out of your car and put you in handcuffs and said that you fit the description, you would be very upset too. You didn't drag him out the car? So this is not him out of his own vehicle in handcuffs because he fits the description? Listen, we're going to handle this how we're going to handle this. You're not dictating this. And you're you guys are violating our civil rights. Not violating you very much are. Really you, you very much are. What law is this that you can take someone out of their car because they fit the description and arrest them? All you guys had to do was run his name. You run his name, right? He did. So what's... Why are you holding him? Are you scared he's going to run or what? He's going to run. In handcuffs? <laughs> In case he falls down. So what you guys stopped him for, you guys already figured out that's not it, but you're still holding him now? Why can't we talk to him too? What do you need to talk to speak to him? Just so I can speak to him for a conversation. Okay, why can't we have a conversation? Why can't he just talk to your supervisor if he asks you? Don't he, ha don't he have that right? There's somebody over you, isn't there? Well, he wants to talk to whoever's over you. Yeah, I do. I want to speak. She shook her head, showing them the photo, which clearly didn't resemble her husband. She argued it was racial profiling, a wrongful arrest. Slowly, the officers started to realize their error. They had nabbed the wrong person, and their actions were a mistake. Jesus, this can't be real, bro. This can't be real. Like, I, I, I can't deal with this. So y'all figured out he's not the suspect. And now you're looking, y'all are just looking for something at this point, is what you're telling me. Well, we stopped you for being a suspect. We determined you're not the person. Now, so now we're going to investigate something else. Right the only reason why he's the same detained is because he's black and he had red dreadlocks. And y'all can't tell one from the next. That's what it is. You're black and you have red dreadlocks and y'all can't yet all people look alike. Y'all could obviously could not tell that, that that was not the right person. I don't know why it's so hard to answer a question. Just say for your protection. We're free to leave, right? In the end, they released the man, and he and his wife walked away, shaken but relieved that justice had prevailed. There's this guy who yelled at the police. He wanted them to release a homeless man. But right away, the cops put a stop to him. They didn't like what he did. Now, let's hear what happened next. Leave him alone. Hey, leave him alone. Hey, pull over, man. Why? yelling at us interfering with investigation I got my seatbelt off I'm not worried about your seatbelt you're interfering with an investigation No I'm not interference yes. physical act liar No it's not What's your name and badge number Deputy Diaz pull over right here for it please For what what I've already explained it to you interfering with an investigation I'm not interfering you by saying you leave did, him alone you did interfere by driving by and saying leave you him alone Yes you did sir stop right here for me You okay? want to you want to bet you. that's not interference That is interfering they had to distract themselves Look me up Look me up. You. I don't need to look you up, man. You, you need to you call your sergeant. Call your sergeant you right now. Call, you can call him. Call your right, sergeant. If you want to speak to my sergeant, you can call him. I want you to call okay. your sergeant. I'm Sir, asking for you your sergeant. Pull right I'm pulling here, over. Pull over. All right. Call your sergeant. You can call him if you'd like to speak to him. Well, how do I call him? On your Get on the hooks and call your sergeant right now. You uh, can call him. Listen. If you'd like to speak to I don't need to speak to my sergeant. You're I'm, ask, to I'm asking your so for your sergeant. Go get him. No. I'm telling you no. Okay, you're refusing to get a sergeant. You can call him. I, I want your supervisor. Him. Call him, please. How? What infraction did I commit? You you can look it up, all right? If you're so familiar with the law. 901.151, reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. Hey, sergeant, can you get this guy in check, please? Yeah. My name's Finn, a.k.a. Wright's Crispy. We're good. I'll meet you down here. All right. George Davis from the Sheriff's Office. How can I help you? He said that I'm interfering because I drove by. I said, hey, that's freedom of speech. My kids yelled out, leave him alone. This guy starts saying he doesn't have his seatbelt on. That thing goes on before the car does. I always have my seatbelts habit. Then he starts saying I'm interfering. Like, interfering is a physical act. I'm not trying to harass no, that's you, man. Exactly what you did to the deputy over there. That's no, not what I did to the deputy. That's a false accusation that. again. Sir, I have nothing else to discuss with you. If you want to prove All right, get back to work. So, go 10 8. Go 10 8. Go 10 8. I wear my seatbelt all the time, liar. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? 
What's your name and badge number? That's not your name and badge number, is it? It's all this. Can you give me his name and badge number? They failed to identify. Sergeant Davis, you got it. You got it. I just stripped the cop of his qualified immunity That's Monday. Fine. That's fine. Get some more. Look me up. That's right. Look it up. And you're from Alachua County? Yeah, I'm in Alachua County you. now. I'm going to be here for the Sir, rest of my life, too. It's apparent you're trying to create an issue. No, it's I'm trying to create change. Well, Positive work, change. I have friends it. and family with that badge, and you're making it look like crap right now. You're incorrect on that. Go to yeah, the court right. System, that's where you do that. You don't do it in the middle of the street. No, we can do, do it in the middle of the street because I have a freedom of speech and freedom to seek redress for my grievances. It's the First Amendment. Have a good day. It's the First Amendment. Stop being stubborn. This man did something really brave. He stood up to a police officer who was being rude to him just because he was recording in public. Hey, hello. Welcome to Yeah, I saw you on Alex's video recently. Yeah, you should be nice to him or else uh, there's going to be more of us around. You're more than welcome. I know we are. Thank you. I don't need your permission. Very good. Thank you. He wasn't scared and talked to the officer about why it's important to respect people's rights. He also said he'd put the video on YouTube. She's the snotty one over there. I said she's the snotty one over there. I seen your snotty little on YouTube. Your attitude draw us out here. Yeah, I saw you on YouTube looking a fool. I'll be putting you on my channel. I just wanted to come out and meet you in person. Hi, I'm Direct D. How's it going? My name is Christopher Ruff. I go by Direct D on YouTube. You can, yeah, you can look me up. I don't care. You're fine. I know who you are. I already looked you up. Yeah, you should be nice to the people recording you, not be a snotty little like you were to Alex. That's not cool. I don't think I do. What's the cool story? Your job is to respect the public. Why do you think I'm standing in front of you right now and not commenting on a YouTube video? It's serious. What's the story? You think it's funny what we're doing, but now you got two more of us standing out here in Coolidge, all the way from the valley. Yeah, folks, we are live in Coolidge, Arizona right now. You can see this officer and this officer acting a fool. Just do your job. You don't threaten people with arrest. Tell them where to stand or just be a general hold we don't grow nobody wants to watch that shit, but you feed right into it with your behavior good job this is a great example of standing up for your rights even when things are tough it shows how important it is to protect our rights and make sure people in charge do the right thing in this story we see two police officers they enter a man's home without permission hurting him and his son they pull them outside their home and misbehaved with them though there's no clear reason for it. Can I help you? Hello, are you uh, Michael? Hi, uh, can I help you with something? Yeah, uh, we're here about a- And your name? Officer Rodriguez. Uh, first name? Jim. Jim, how are you, Jim? Can, can and I... your name? Please? Sure. Oh, sorry, badge number? What's that? Badge number, okay. please? Let, let's go ahead and talk about the incident that you had out here a few minutes I ago. don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Step down here for me. No, yeah, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I've chilled the whole time. I haven't done anything. Relax. I haven't resisted. Officer, trying to just talk to you. This is unbelievable. No, I know. This is they unbelievable. They walked in the house without a search warrant. This is unbelievable. Okay. It's all on film. Get my camera. It's on my phone too. It's on then. my phone. He, the whole thing is on film. It's a he says, she said. I would have written it up and said, here's the report. That works. And then he does this garbage. So. so. I'm going to arrest him for uh, failure to obey a lawful command, resisting disorderly. Yeah, disorders, that's good because it got her attention too. However, their actions don't go unpunished. Officer Rodriguez and Sergeant Thor later face consequences for their behavior. There was a man named Gavin. He was driving his car with his family one day when he saw something happening up ahead. Some officers from the Glute Police Department were arresting someone just because of violating traffic stop signal. Gavin decided to start recording the incident with his camera. As he was filming, two police officers walked over to him. They told him to move away from their traffic stop and started bothering him. Watch how this one unfolds. Can we help you? Well, we're just observing. Huh? We're just observing. Oh, okay. What's going on here? All right, no, this is a yeah, traffic stop. Why do you have somebody in handcuffs for a traffic stop? 
Well, it's not, it's not your concern, okay? Well, it's very much my concern. You work for the people, and I'm just observing to try and make sure no, that nothing untoward's going on. But I'm just, it's just a, I think it's a reasonably curious question. Is it normal to put somebody in, in handcuffs for a traffic well, that's stop? Her, that's her business, okay? So oh, hi, ma'am. How you doing? No, I'm it's not. That you do need to get off my traffic stop. No, I don't. I'm just observing. Okay, but I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm telling you is uh -huh. the person that was arrested. It's not any of your business because that's her personal business. What she got arrested for, so it's none of your concern. No, actually, that's a matter of public record, sir. Okay. Okay, well, you look it up in public record. Yeah. Oh, sure. I, and I can't force you to tell me. I mean, it would be it would be cordial of you to do so, um, but uh, I'm just observing. I'm not here to interfere. And uh, you guys shouldn't be uncomfortable with being filmed. I mean, it looks like you have body cams yourself, so it's not like you should be right. uncomfortable. Well, can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? Yeah. So, can we ask you a question? Okay. You can ask. Yeah. The reason why we're here right now talking to you is because we're on a traffic stop and you pull behind us. Okay. Right. And we don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm well behind you. Okay. So actually, what's weird to me is that you're on a traffic stop and you're over here talking to me instead of dealing with your traffic stop. Okay. Well, she's already detained. Okay. What's your, what's your name, sir? I'm Officer Garcia. Garcia, I'm Gavin. What's okay. your name, ma'am? Cantrell. Cantrell. All right. You're you're pretty. Can y'all go ahead and leave the scene? Um, am I am I causing you some concern? Yes, yes you are. Because you're behind our traffic stop. And you're in Would it. it make you more comfortable if I pulled no, up on the side that's here? That's even closer to us. You have two okay. Choices. Either you can leave my scene, or both of y'all are going to be arrested. For what? For interfering. How am I interfering? You're interfering with my traffic stop. I don't like you sitting right here behind. You don't get right. to dictate that. But right. can you call a supervisor out and I can talk to him? We've already, we already talked to him. Okay. Can you tell me what law I'm breaking? You're interfering with our traffic stop, okay? In what way am I doing that? You're interfering, because we're over here speaking with you, okay? Isn't it, uh, the Supreme Court has upheld our right just right, to film police officers. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more time. Are you going to leave or you not? You can either leave right now with your kids in your vehicle. Okay, so you're threatening my family with force then, out. is that what it is? We're no. asking you to leave. And you're going to use force against me no, if I don't I'm leave? No, I'm saying that you are going to be arrested if y'all don't leave our traffic So you're going to, at the point of a you're going to threaten harm to my family, is that correct? I never said that. That's what you're saying? Okay, one, 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 one more chance, either leave the scene or step out of the vehicle and you're going to be arrested. Okay, well, since you're threatening my life, I'm going to move away from the scene because you guys are threatening the, my life and the life of my, my four kids in here. Um, you are well outside the law. And normally, if I was by myself, I would probably refuse, but I got my family in the car. You are breaking the law right now. You're violating your oath. You're acting as criminals. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move somewhere else and film you to make sure that you're not untoward to this. I want your, what's your badge number, ma'am? It's 208. Okay. I, I, you, I intend to have you held accountable for this. All what's right, your rank? Going to leave, please. I will, I will move is what I will do. I'm not going to leave. Then a sergeant who was also the boss of those officers arrived at the scene. He was calm and handled the situation well. He made sure Gavin and his family were safe and even gave the other officers a lesson about people taking pictures in public. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling very threatened by the behavior of your officers here. Okay. Because I'm exercising my First Amendment right. Sure. And you guys are acting like bullies, or they are rather. I don't want to speak for you. I don't know you. I'll go ahead and identify, identify myself. I'm Sergeant Park. I'm in the police department. Are you a supervisor of these guys? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you're here because um, they just they threatened my family's life just now. How so? Because they said that we were both going to be arrested. I got four kids in the car. Mm -hmm. If we were both arrested, mm -hmm. not only that, my wife has no control over me driving my vehicle. Right. I'm 30 feet back from them. We as the civilianry, sir, yes. we have to look over our shoulders all the time mm -hmm. to see if we're being followed or if we're going to be harassed and collected by a police officer in today's You're not America. Doing anything wrong. You don't have to worry about us. That's nonsense because I wasn't doing anything wrong and they just threatened to arrest me and my wife, which would result in my kids being taken by Child Protective Services thousands of miles from my home. Would you consider that a threat if you were out and about? You're good. Go back. You're good. I just want you to see, stay about this distance I'm away. not. Okay. The only reason I moved is because you guys threatened my family with violence. Okay, we didn't threaten anything. Yes, you did. You That's what an arrest is. You were threatened that you'd be placed under arrest for interfering with a police investigation. And if I had attempted to defend myself, leave. I wasn't interfering with nothing. You guys were leaving okay. your police investigation. I'm trying to make sure that no interference happens. I'm trying. The to only make one sure that's interfered that here, escalates. sir, is you. The only one that's violated their oath is your officers. And that's what you need to think about. If you got a call, I don't want to keep you from it. You better get going. I am. You In the end, Everyone learned something, and Gavin and his family continued their journey, knowing they had done the right thing. There was an officer named Powers. He stopped a man on the road who seemed to be asking for business. The man, however, appeared calm as he walked along. Officer Powers decided to detain him, thinking he had done something wrong. But what happened next was quite surprising. You said that when we solicited, I asked you, Officer Powers. Powers. What's your badge number? 2316. Miss Lady, what's your badge number? 
You're really gonna go this route? Okay, I'm just asking you. I didn't. I you asked me where I solicited. And I asked you. A and I told question, you I don't answer questions. And all I was going to do was tell you if you're soliciting for business for uh -huh. spring power and gas. I'm not soliciting anything. Are you going door to door? I have addresses. I have addresses. I have addresses. I'm not soliciting anything. Are you going door to door? Is solicitation? It's not solicitation because I'm not selling anything. You're not. I'm what here are you to doing? do. Okay, I'll give you this much. I'm doing follow ups with people. You're soliciting right, for well, business. Well, investigate it. Go ask individuals what I was at their door for. You're soliciting for business, I'm not sir. soliciting anything and stuff. You're insinuating. You don't know me from a can of paint. And I'm asking you what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to ask you this one more time. Before I'm I give you my driver's license, doing. like you instructed me to do. Uh, okay, here's the deal. You're being detained for yes. a potential ordinance violation. Potential? Yes. Okay, so is that suspicious? I have reasonable suspicion to believe okay, you are. Okay, suspicion isn't a crime, sir. <laughs> okay. i tell you what. I'm not going to give you a lesson in the law here. I know okay, the law. Okay, but I'm telling, I'm telling you right now. You know what reasonable suspicion is? Okay. Reasonable, articulate suspicion that I committed Correct. a crime, had committed a crime, or am committed a crime. Right, you, you know You suspect that. me of a crime. Of an ordinance violation. And I just told you I wasn't committing a crime. I told you I was there doing follow-ups with individual that I'm supposed to be there for. Now, it's solicitation. No, it's not solicitation. You don't know the context of my conversation. Okay. You're going door to door. Right? I'm not going door to door. Do you have a solicitation permit? I don't. I'm not soliciting, so therefore I don't have to have one. I'm not we selling have a, nothing. We have a difference of opinion. Well, I'm just following the law. We have a difference of opinion. You man. don't know the law so well. Yeah, I do. Okay. So what's the solicitation of law? It's an ordinance violation. Right. It's not a law. It's not a law. It is it's a, a law. violation. It's a law that you, it's it's a, it's ordinance a township violation. ordinance that right. you can be friggin' right. uh, cited for. What are we going to do? Because be I'm looking for. for a lawsuit. I'm good at them. As soon as I give you my name, you're going to see it. I do this a lot, man. The man did something so admirable that it left Officer Powers speechless. He realized he had made a mistake, and his voice faltered as he comprehended his blunder. It was clear that he was about to receive a valuable lesson. Do you still like my, my ID? Yes, I would. Okay, now, before I give you this, all right, before I give you my information, are you for sure you want to go down this route? Oh my God. Yes or no? Because I'm not refusing. What's that? I'm not refusing it. I'm going to give you my information. trying to intimidate me. I got no weapon on What I was going to do was going to give you a I'm not intimidating you. I'm trying to intimidate you not to do my job. I'm standing on law. You're trying to intimidate me not to do my job. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. I'm telling you right now that A, I wasn't soliciting. B, you wasn't there. You're investigating this or crime. If you were soliciting, what are you doing? Now? All right, I don't. It's moment. I, if you can explain, I'm going to cut you loose, dude. All right, what do you mean, cut me loose? I'm going to walk away. You being detained. Before I give you my ID, I'm asking you what's going to happen if I don't give you my ID. Tell you what, you're not even worth it. You're not even worth the show. Thank you. You're not. Thank you. Have don't speak with them. Thank you. You have a good day. And I will be doing a complaint. Go ahead. I am. This moment was a perfect example of instant karma. The man's actions had turned the tables, teaching Officer Powers a lesson he would not soon forget. It goes to show that sometimes, doing the right thing can have a powerful impact on those around us. There were two police officers, Sarah Stambauer and her partner. They pulled over a man during a routine traffic stop, but things took a troubling turn. Officer Sarah lost her composure making a grave mistake. She began questioning and searching the man's car as if he were a criminal. Soon, the consequences caught up with her. Yeah. I said, no problem. Feels like I'm back in Nazi Germany or something. The way you people get treated like this, you know your history? I do. Okay, so you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. You don't understand don't. Nazi Germany? I don't see the correlation. Okay. We were hailed by a citizen regarding your car. Why would a citizen have hailed us? For my car? We were doing something completely else, and oh. somebody took time out of their day to come over and flag us down regarding you. Why Reg would regarding that? me? Regarding you and your vehicle. No, that's that's false. Any weapons in the vehicle? Uh, yeah. What kind of weapons? This is a registered gun in my name. Okay. Just go ahead and keep your hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Me. Where? Where's it at? It's in the trunk. It's in the trunk. Yeah. Okay. Just keep your hands on the wheel, okay? We're just gonna do this the safe way, okay? Can you undo your seatbelt for me? Uh, can I call the supervisor, please? What? I would like your well, supervisor. No, you can talk to him afterwards. Sir, I would like your supervisor. Okay, we're we're going to talk to him afterwards. Right? I, that, you I need, need to do what well, I Can you call him on do. your radio? Huh? Can you call him on your radio? He's not trying to call hey. his supervisor on the radio. Listen. I'm a citizen too, bro. Okay. It's like, hey. and, you, and you work for public and safety. No. What's your cause of stopping me? Is what I want to know. You didn't even give me a cause. You said I, for your tent. I told you I got that's a ticket. Cause. Sarah faced a lawsuit and in the end, lost her job with the Sacramento Police Department. It was because she didn't show the professionalism expected of a police officer. This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of treating everyone with respect and following proper procedures, even in challenging situations. 
It's a lesson for all of us to remember that professionalism and fairness are crucial in any job, especially in law enforcement. Officer Gonzalez arrives at the wrong house on CPS's request. He begins asking the homeowner many questions. This leads to frustration. Gonzalez's unprofessional behavior becomes evident. Watch how this situation unfolds. Good. I'm, I'm fine right here. All right. So uh, did these people identify with you? Why are you shaking, man? That I don't answer questions. Did, they, did these uh, ladies identify with you? Identify with me what? Did they identify the who, who they're with? Doesn't matter who who I am. No, they, I didn't break the law. Are. Oh yeah, they they told me who they were, but okay. I didn't tell them who I am. It doesn't matter who okay. I am. I didn't break any laws, so I don't Nobody's need to. Nobody's accusing you breaking any laws. So do, do, did you understand why they're here? They talked to their mother. Okay. Can we talk to her? Uh, yeah, you can when she gets back home. How how long is that gonna take? She's at work. At work. Yep. And uh, she threw the kids They were work? they were already explained that she went well, to work. I wasn't here, so. Okay, well, they were explained that the mother was going to the work and the kids were going to their friend's house. Okay. Any particular reason why you guys didn't allow them just to check with the kids? Uh, the kids? Because they're going home. They're going to their friend's house and we're not gonna... I thought this was their home. This is not their home? They're going to their friend's house. Did you understand their presence here? It's not my concern. Are the children yours? The children are not mine. I'll tell you that much. So it's, it's, it's we need to speak to mom then? Yes, you absolutely need to speak to mother. Okay. At what time is she back? I have no idea. At what time she gets out of work? I have no idea. You don't know what time she gets out of work? No, sir. Do you know where she works at? I don't answer questions. Well, thank you. All right. Yeah. A officer that came to the property what is it? in this car right here what was that I'm narrating and a sheriff in car number 072 for this one and that's officer Gomez Gonzalez I believe it's officer Gonzalez correct and your badge number is no sir I don't have no reason to hold on to our final clip which is the most scariest and most creepiest one and if you like what you saw Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. In Lynn Haven Mall, Virginia Beach, a man savored a meal with his family. Suddenly, police officers approached, mistaking him for a thief. Curious minds wonder, what did he do next? Stay tuned to see how the officers quickly realize their mistake. Yes, what did he do? We just got my family. But he did nothing. Y'all got the wrong person. We don't even have a black truck. A black truck, bro? We don't have a black truck. We just came to the mall. What did he say? But you know, I know. I record this. I'm taking out the court, bro. Okay, but don't snap. But what did he do? No, no, you, yo, you let me talk to you. Like you got these cuffs on me. Take me to the front. Take me to the front. But what did he do? Take me to the front now. Can you tell us? We just came with our family. We don't even have a black truck. Jamar, don't snap. Wait a second. Come here. Come report this. Report. Follow them. Follow them. What did he do? Okay. What are you doing? What? What oh. are you doing? Get this blade straight to me. Jamar, what are you doing? Y'all f***ing We ain't here with our family. Are you serious right now, dog? What? No, y'all, this is so f***ing embarrassing. Me, get these we are with our family. I got my baby here, a newborn. Get Why do y'all have him? But what did he do? He didn't do anything. I know oh, I'm God. God. We were our f***ing kids. Know. You don't do that. That is so you know what's going on in the world today. Yo, we were our f***ing kids. I'm going to jail. We take we the don't do nothing. We got to see. He didn't do nothing. Yo, get off of me. You know how embarrassing that is. Your man just said you go can't f***ing. Do you think still on me? It I is the wrong person we told you. You asked no. him about a black truck and we said we y'all didn't even give him no. a chance. Y'all didn't give him a chance to explain. You you said do you have a black truck? He doesn't, we don't even drive a black truck. That nigga's a rusty one with ears? With our head. What with my okay. No! You ask I, questions, I don't know. You don't do that. We're with our kids, but you ask me. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. I got go. your name. What's let's your just name? Let's go. We're okay. leaving. All right, I'm going to see your ass again. It's all right. Just what's wrong with you, on, man? Go, what's wrong? Ain't no questions. Don't move. Don't move. Wait. I don't give a 
Take him. Go ahead. Y'all go. I sincerely oh. apologize. It was no. a oh, I mean, y'all just kidding. That was so embarrassing. Was if he was, if he was, you, and then he, he asked, man, are you putting me a handcuff while I'm taking a bite from my son? Then I wouldn't have talked Come to him. On, about it. I would have just taken him into custody and detained him. Okay? No, bro. I understand it's embarrassing. Do you have a car? I sincerely you apologize. All wrong. I sincerely you apologize. All wrong. That was it's fine. It's that was right. nothing. Fair that was, do you have a car? And that's how y'all do. This is indeed a very saddening situation for this family. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.